talked last week about uh, a, a solution that was released um, called Maester. And I uh, was able to get it running. Um, I shouldn't say I was able to, like it was very difficult because the documentation was fantastic and it was very easy to get running. Um, so <clears throat> Maester was, uh, just to recap, um, a PowerShell um, uh, framework, a test automation framework uh, using Pester uh, under the hood to perform a number of different tests across your uh, Entra environment. Now, it tests things like conditional access policies to see if they're effective, if they're created, if they're not created, and you get a nice green or red pass or fail. Um, and there is some uh, 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 promise of, because it's open source, um, you're able to contribute your own tests uh, that may be lo looped into the project, and it sounds like the project will be um, expanding here in the future. I, I haven't seen any specifics around that, but the thought is this isn't a, uh, we released it and we're done. At least that's what I'm gathering from it. So um, really quickly here, I've got the uh, docs page up for Maester. It gives a bit of an introduction, probably uh, spells out what their plans are uh, a little bit better than I just did. But beyond the introduction, we get to the installation guide, and this is pretty much it. Uh, in make sure Pester is installed, install the uh, Maester PowerShell module, uh, create a couple of directories, install the tests, and then connect. And so here in the background, um, I won't run it again, just because we have it up, or I have it up here already, but you can see I did those very things. Uh, created my uh, Maester directory here. Um, so tools, C, tools, Maester, uh, went over to that directory, installed the two modules, uh, created a, a test directory and changed into that, and then placed my tests there as well. So we could actually go over to that directory real quick and see what we have in there. And basically, we've got the various tests um, that we have in here. So these are all pester tests using PowerShell. Um, and then we'll also have the test results, which I'll show you here in just a moment. Um, but essentially, after we do that, we connect, which you'll be uh, you'll have to log in interactively, at least in my case. I haven't checked to see if you can log in with an application or something like that. Um, I believe you can because there is documentation for configuring these tests to run automatically uh, on, on a scheduled basis. Uh, using either GitHub or Azure DevOps. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I connected interactively, went ahead and ran the invoke maester command, and it went through all of the tests that I have configured, which at the moment are just the default tests. Tells me where the report was generated, how many tests I passed, and how many failed. And running it for the first time here in a lab that I do a bunch of silly things in, you can see that I have some some things that I need to look at. Uh, and so one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite things about this solution is the nice, easy to read output that we get here in HTML format. Um, you can see how many tests were run, how many passed, how many failed, how many things weren't actually tested in my environment. A really nice break, breakdown, I think, uh, by category as well as pass failed. And then down here, we have all of the various tests and whether or not um, we passed them or failed them. And when you click on a, a single test, you'll actually get um, some level of detail for the test. And in some cases, you'll see how you might remediate uh, the test. Um, but getting all of this additional detail, you can see that all of the tests are categorized. They're tagged, so you can sort through these things as well um, here in, in this drop-down box. Um, just a, a really 
for an open source report, uh, I think coming out of uh, a handful of PowerShell commands, this is this is a fantastic looking and very useful um, tool. So if you're uh, managing identities, conditional access, uh, any of that stuff, which many of us uh, might be, um, go ahead and give this a look. Uh, really, really great stuff, and kudos to the team that put this together. So that was what I had for today, Johan. Mm -hmm.